quickly tell us, um, you, you kind of told it earlier, but I just, I do want to get this for our interview, um, your funny, <laughs> crazy beginning in sales. You started in construction, right? I was a construction worker, shy, I couldn't talk to anybody. A fellow in our church offered me a job on a commission, I didn't even know what the word meant. I quit my job. Judy was pregnant with our first child. We had no money in the bank. I had an old beat up Volkswagen bug. And I went out and made 1,200 sales calls in the first four months and made one sale. And when I brought it in to Vernon Cavill, the sales manager, he was so excited I made the sale. He said, tell me how you made it. I said, they just gave me the money. He said, you didn't create value, need, clothes, hand lift. I said, no, they just wanted the product and get wrote a check and gave me the money. He said, you are the worst salesman I have ever hired in over two decades of training salespeople. He had a thousand people working for him. And he told me to quit because I was the worst person he had ever hired. And he said, unless you change your attitude, you will never amount to anything. And he gave me a record by Earl Nightingale called The Strangest Secret. And one thought in that changed my entire life. And I went back with the same product, same territory, with a whole different attitude, and I made two sales in the first four hours. I doubled four months of effort in four hours. And I looked in that rearview mirror of my old beat-up Volkswagen, and I said, I did it! I did it! And try to think, what did I do that was different? My thinking was different. And by the end of that year, I was the number one salesman out of a thousand working for Mr. Cavill. It made me a manager. I set all kinds of records. My entire life changed. My personality changed. I was on fire. I was unstoppable. But had I not had that beginning experience, I would have had no understanding as a manager of salespeople what it's like to struggle. As a speaker and as a sales trainer, no comprehension of how difficult it is. In water skiing, we've taught Judy and I hundreds of people to slalom ski only because it took us so long to do it ourselves until we knew the right way. And it's the struggle that makes it so rewarding and makes you so much stronger and better. So without that terrible experience, and it was horrible, I mean every night going home, failing after failure, failing and failing, but Judy just kept encouraging me to go out and do it again. And finally, it clicked. 